It's a transporting experience to come here. You feel like you've left the world as you know it and come to a magical place. And the deeper you go, the more interesting it is. As a rigger, I'm responsible for all the rigging on all the ships at the museum, keeping all these wooden boats alive and using traditional methods to take care of the whole fleet is really cool. I love it, and it's one of the best views in the world at the top of a mast. You see all these moments that happen on campus, whether it's kids learning how to sail, or we'll haul out one of our big vessels down in the shipyard. There's just so many instances that happen here every day that are magical. Oh, chilly. Yeah. Down in our shipyard, there's so much activity, and you can get right up and see all of it. Okay. How many shipyards do you get to just wander through while there's forklifts driving past carrying boats? It's a wonderfully unique experience for a museum. This is a large organization that's got many different aspects to it. And so our colleagues we have and the disciplines that they have become expert in are highly varied. We make iron work for ships in our blacksmith shop. Things like hooks, lances, and harpoons. This is our earliest New England style harpoon. It's a double flue iron. It's basically a big iron arrowhead. We also have printing, which we demonstrate on a 19th century press, as well as coopering, which is barrel making. So demonstrating here, not only are we preserving the trades, but we're also allowing visitors to experience it firsthand. We're going to make this straight, not tapered. We make barrels the shape that they are, because that's what wood wants to do. The diversity of what we have encourages really good storytelling. You will see in our exhibit halls exhibitions where we're revealing a story along a theme, and we might have a ship model from the collection or other artifacts that link together to that narrative, and so you get a more complete picture of some of these really fascinating tales. The hunt of the whale would have started aboard the ship like the Charles W. Morgan, and way at the top of the mast, there would be men looking out for whales, and if they spotted one, they'd cry out, whale ho! There's no other wooden whaling vessels afloat in the United States. This is the only one. So here we are preserving these vessels so people can go aboard and see what it had been like to be aboard those boats. Some of these schooners, they'd go out in the wintertime because cod and halibut are a cold water species. They wanted to get out before they got froze in. These vessels connect us all, and it's amazing to me how many people come and have connections to the boats here at the museum. The Mystic Seaport Museum is so unique in that People come here, there's fabulous exhibits, a working shipyard, this coastal village right in the center of it, but it's the river that makes it special. And for people to be able to get out on the river, it makes the visit magical. Tucked in here is the Charles W. Morgan, a very famous boat, especially for Mystic Seaport Museum. We are shipmates. There's a great phrase in the maritime world, ship, shipmate self, right? And the idea is if you take care of the vessel, and you take care of your shipmates, then you in turn will be looked after. And that's part of our ethos here.